This evening, we heard a lot about unity. Um, this morning, when I was praying about a few things, I turned to this on page four of Clectania. It's Mrs. Eddy. Love, love alone, will found, upbuild, and establish forever both the Christian scientist and our cause. But envy, jealousy, or rivalry will kill the spirit of the science in the person who possesses it and will thwart the establishment of it in this age. Oh, why has not this been realized by everyone who has the cause at heart and who has labored faithfully in some directions for its advancement? The principle of our demonstration as Christian scientists is unity and our demonstrations depend on united minds and their at one with the one mind. This is one thing that has been so impressed upon us, this idea of unity. It doesn't come easily. To some it might even appear to be human harmony, but it is far from that. It requires great dedication and work, it means that we always don't agree. We do co-elbow, as Mrs. Eddy says. Uh, but in the end, we will put our differences aside uh, to commune with that one mind and to get a right answer. And the one mind is then expressed, and we go on together in that unity. It has seen us through very perilous times, because it's been said, one stick you can break, but a bunch you cannot. But as in this reading, the one thing that has united us is our steadfast love for this cause. It beats in the heart of everyone, whether you are sitting here in this auditorium or whether you are out amongst the world. We are all one in this effort. I thank God for each and every one of you. I thank God for the readings tonight. They were selected and read with such great strength and understanding. They were readings of substance. The testimonies tonight were from the heart and of substance. This is what can be accomplished when we gather together in the one mind. I thank God for this independent church, for each and every one of you. I'm so grateful to be here and to be here tonight. Thank you.